Hi, welcome to Wayne's Guitar Lessons. I'm instructor Dwayne Jenkins. In today's video lesson, we are going to be looking at double stops. Do you know what a double stop is? If you not, don't know what it is, stick around. I'll tell you what it is and how to use it. Alright, so here we are. The lesson on double stops. What a double stop is, is very simple. It's a Basically, it's a two-note chord. Okay. Now, the most simple, the most simplest and regularly used double stop is our power chord. Okay. Power chord is basically two notes. It's a chord used on the guitar with two notes, and they're sometimes called five chords, like A5, G5, E5, C5, because what you're doing is using the one and the fifth of the major scale. Like for instance, if we were playing an A major power chord right here at the fifth fret of the sixth string we'd be using the A note and the E note okay and if we gave these a number value like for instance if we go through the major scale right that do re mi fa so la ti do okay the number the letters <laughs> the letters I'm sorry the numbers are one two three four five six seven eight okay A B C sharp D B so what we want to do is we want to say, well, what's the fifth? Well, the fifth is one, two, three, four, five. A, B, e, C, D, E. So A and E, those are the two notes that we're using in this chord. A and E, okay? That's what's called a double stop. Now there's many double stops you can use. You can use a fifth, you can use a fourth, you can use a third, you can use this octave. You can use a sixth. There's all kinds of different ones. Now, the ones that we're going to be looking at today are our fourths. Okay, a fourth. So we have a power chord that is a fifth, and we have a fourth, which is going to be using the one and the four. Four is going to be located right underneath the one. So if the A is the one, the four is going to be located right underneath it. So if we wanted to play a double stop in fourths off the sixth string, we just press these two strings the fifth and the fourth on the same fret, okay? All up and down the fretboard, those are gonna be fourths. The one on the sixth string and the four on the fifth string. Now if we wanna play fourths on the fifth string, then we do it in the same fashion. The fourth is gonna be right underneath the one. That's what makes these really nice to play, is where they're located, right underneath the one. So if we wanted to use a fourth on the string, we want to play a fourth double stop there, it's in the same location as on the sixth string. On the fourth string, our D string, our fourth is going to be right underneath it, once again, on the third string, which is the G string, okay? And what's really cool about the guitar is a lot of this stuff lines up in patterns. So once you learn patterns, it works through for all different chords and keys up and down the fretboard. It's really cool the way it's lined up like that. It just makes it for easier learning, okay? Now, if we want to know if that is really the fourth, all we have to do is check our notes. Now, this note right here on the fifth fret of the D string, according to our octave, is a G. It's a G note, okay? D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G. Okay, now what would be the fourth of G? G is one, A is two, B is three, C is four. So we're looking for the G and the C note. So we know that the G is on the fourth string. Is this a C on the G string? Well, let's find out. G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C. Yes, it is. So we could do it that way, or we could do our octaves and know that it's a C, because this is a C right here, this is a C. So we are playing a G and a C right here the one and the four. Okay. Now, when we go to the G string, the four isn't right underneath it because of the B string. Okay. So what we have to do to create the four, or find the four, is we're going to have to move up a fret. Okay. So now, instead of it being right underneath the one, like it is on the fourth, fifth, and sixth string, it's now going to be a fret up. down the fretboard. And is this correct? Well, let's find out. We have a C. That's a C on the G string. What's the fourth of C? 
C is 1, D is 2, E is 3, F is 4. So C and F, those are the two ones that we want to look for. So we know this is a C. Now is this one an F? Well, it's C. We have the B, B string, B is open, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, right there, yes. So now we've got the C and the F. So if you want to play a double stop, a fourth double stop, using fourths, on the G and B strings, we would play it like that. on the B string, let's say we're on the fifth string, I'm sorry, the fifth fret, okay, the fifth fret of the B string, and we're, and uh, what note is that? Well, let's find out. B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, it's an E. What's the fourth of E? Well, E is one, F is two, G is three, A is four. So E and A, that's what we're looking for, the E and the A. Well, the A is right here, we know that this string, this is an E string, and this is an E string, these are two E strings, and the notes are the same. That's what's really cool about it. When you learn your notes, you really only have to master five strings because two of them are the same. So if we know that this is an A on the sixth string, fifth fret, then we're going to have an A on the first string, fifth fret as well. So that tells us that our one and four is going to be just like that it is on the sixth and fourth string. On the, on the fourth string, the fifth string, and the sixth string. So the only string that changes is our G string because we're using the B string. And that means that we have to take the fourth and move it up a fret. And we want to know this in case, we want to know this in case we want to switch strings, okay? Like if we want to play a double stop on the first two strings, we want to keep the notes right underneath each other. But if we want to do them on the G string, we got to change the note configuration, the, conf the finger configuration because of the notes where they line up to more like this. But what's cool about it is it's only on this string. All the other strings are the same. Second string, fourth string, fifth string, sixth string. So if we wanted to play some double stops around the fretboard on different strings, we just got to remember on that G string, Same thing with first string, or the second string, I mean. That's where your root is, okay? And then you can use those for solos, for rhythms. And you use these double stops for all kinds of really cool things, whether you play rhythm or lead, it doesn't matter. You just gotta know where those notes are located, and then be able to use them. All right, all right so there we have our <clears throat> double stops and fourths, I would highly recommend that you use those because they're really cool. They're a very cool thing that's used in guitar playing. A lot of great blues guitar players use them. Uh, Jimi Hendrix, Ray Vaughan, uh, Billy Gibbons, um, you know, a lot of people use them and they're because they're really simple to use and effective, okay? They're effective to use. And what you want to do is think about, okay, like the fourth is right underneath the one, the fifth is two frets up, that's our power chord, okay? So that way you can switch between using fifths or fourths, or a third is gonna be right behind it, because the fourth and third are right next to each other. So if you know where the fourth is, the third is gonna be right next to it, okay? So that makes it easy to find your thirds. And I would highly recommend working on these. Find your thirds, your fourths, your fifths, your sixths, and your octaves. And by doing that, it's gonna make you a much better guitar player and it's gonna fuel your creativity, all right? So, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, check out my website at DwayneGuitarLessons.com. If you like this video, be sure to check out some of my other ones. I'll see you at our next lesson.